Vancouver, Canada, population 675,000, and is a popular location for filming. Not only are tons of movies produced up here, Vancouver is also one of the prettiest places to be during the fall season. We dropped our stuff off and Ubered to a highly rated lunch spot on the water. Or so we thought. The restaurant didn't exist anymore. It was just a junkyard full of sailboats. No other restaurants were around. It seemed like a setup. So we just got dropped off at a Canadian boatyard. Sailboat graveyard. We were told there was a grill there. There is no grill there. No grill. So we're just walking. It is very cold. It is freezing. We usually walk around these cities, but I don't know if this city's gonna be a walker. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough. We walked over to a little park and surprise, there were bunnies all over the place. Wild bunnies on a coastal park. We were so confused. The fall foliage is pretty lit, which is the main reason why we visited. Nope. Canada is a unique place. We then hit a restaurant called Boathouse and had some amazing seafood. We got a seafood platter that had crab dip, coconut shrimp, calamari, and firecracker shrimp. The next morning, we took a tour around the city. Today we're gonna do the city tour and Capilano. So the city we're gonna show you guys through Chinatown, we'll go through the bad part of East Hastings, and then we'll go through Gastown, Waterfront, check out Coal Harbor. We'll go through the Stanley Park area, which is really cool. And then we'll head over into Capilano Park, where you guys can walk through the forest and check that really cool spot out. There was up to 6,500 children. Bodies were found under churches all throughout BC. Different churches? Different churches. So they this asked the Vatican Pope to apologize. This is the Millennium Gate. This is what welcomes you into Chinatown. You know you're in Chinatown because everything's painted red. So this is where like all the tents and everything are down here right now. This was like a month ago, this was four times as bad. But the firemen can't put their hoses to the building connectors. So they told the police they got to do something. So the police came here with the garbage trucks and just started throwing the tents in the garbage trucks. Oh, just wow. creating a little bit of a riot. Our guide was super cool and took us everywhere. We got to briefly see some of the city's coolest attractions. We stopped at the famous Gastown Steam Clock, which was built in 1977, and we waited for the clock to sing. It was pretty interesting. But the steam operates the clock. Every 15 minutes, it releases the steam and plays the Westminster chime. <laughs> ended up in Stanley Park, which was one of the most amazing parks I've ever been to. So amazing, we went back multiple times. This is the Rose Pavilion of Stanley Park. We stopped at Brockton Point to see the totem poles that were visual representations of kinship and family crests. So that's half the park right there, you guys. Now we're going to go over the Lionsgate Bridge. 
We drove through Stanley Park and headed to the Capilano Suspension Bridge, a popular attraction that teeters 230 feet above the Capilano River. We are right here. There's wash facilities throughout the park. Okay, we're gonna walk through the total pole areas and get some nice photos. You guys will go to the Capilano Suspension Bridge where you guys will walk across. Because winter was right around the corner, the park was fully decked in Christmas decorations. I was into it. While we were there, we stopped at a cafe for some drinks and amazing seafood chowder. We got on the suspension bridge with a bunch of people, which made it a little scary. I like to dance through my anxiety, so you'll see that throughout this episode. Jesus, stop. Why? There's other people on here. Oh my God. This is insane. It's not still. Oh my God. I honestly don't know what I would do. I'd probably just get down. This bridge is moving way too much. How you feeling? This is insane. I don't understand. Stop. You're not funny. There's little kids on this bridge. I'm gonna make it. Man, the kids was running. He holding on. I'm just like. I'm not gonna lie. The bridge was a little scary. I don't like heights. The other people there made it worse. I'm looking at it. Oh, is he grabbing something? <laughs> People kept telling us to come back at night, so we made sure to do just that. We even had to extend our trip to do so. We ended our tour at Granville Island, which is a man-made island filled with markets and shops. We got off the van and walked through the lively Central Market. We decided to tip the guide and hop off the tour so we can get back to our random adventures. While there, we went to a bar called The Keg and got some shots to spice up the rest of the day. Jazz. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Whole thing, whole thing, whole thing. Don't be a bee. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> the walkways on Granville Island were incredibly scenic. We saw a duck pond right out of a Disney movie.
Eventually, we said goodbye to Granville Island and hopped on a water taxi back to the mainland. Later in the night, we went to Seasons Restaurant for dinner. <laughs> we ordered the Skyline Platter, which is a chef selection of cured meats and cheese, along with some onion fig jam. Fancy. We also got some exotic meats. It wasn't that exotic. The view was gorgeous and the stakes hit too. We went to Stanley Park to walk around and see some of the attractions up close. This was my first time really exploring the woods, so it was a bit scary and exhilarating. Question authority. It was real whimsical here, I'm not gonna lie. I can totally see why Stanley Park was named top park in the entire world by TripAdvisor in 2014. I didn't even know we were in one of the best parks in the world. We found a well. I didn't even realize I liked wells this much. There were bridges, large bodies of water, huge trees. The views were breathtaking. I'm the troll under the bridge. <laughs> Get it? Troll under the bridge? <laughs> Tough crowd out here. There were so many areas and trails. It was like its own little world. We stayed along a coastal path for a lot of our hike. I can see why so many locals do their morning walks here. I don't think I'd ever get tired of these views. And was there struggle? Signs of struggle? Who are you? Is he down there? Oh, no. Nope. Uh uh. Minding my business. Minding my business. Chickadee. Mm -hmm. 
We looked up a restaurant in the park and big surprise, it didn't exist. Just our luck, again. Hello, we're hungry. A bear emerges from the woods. Careful not to startle it. The black bear has Jordans on. Ugh. Careful. Skittish. <laughs> <laughs> we even got an up close and personal look of Lionsgate Bridge. It was massive. We even got to see this tiny little lighthouse under the bridge, the Prospect Point Lighthouse. This was my favorite area. After a lot more hiking, we left the park and headed to a local lunch spot called Red Card for some burgers. They hit this spot. Why would I risk my life like this? Anything for the shot. I'm Drake. <laughs> In the evening, we headed back to the Capilano Bridge to see the lights and the view at night. We stopped at the bar cafe for some courage juice. I needed some. We also got a plate of meatballs for some reason. Oh my God, this is, okay, this is wobbly. <laughs> this is, oh, all right. This is terrible. <laughs> this is just terrible. So much worse. <laughs> this is so much worse. Oh, they have lights down there? What? We crossed the bridge again and did all the treetop courses with the new views. My fear of heights wasn't as bad at nighttime. Must be how Batman feels. Ooh, it's dope out here. Mm -hmm. They had different areas that had amazing lighting that bounced off of each other and the trees. I was truly in awe. Living on a, uh, living on literally the edge, huh?
the forest just lit up. What an incredible experience. Breathe in. It <laughs> sounded like I had bad breath. Horrible breath. Funky, schmunky, donkey. Booty crumple breath. Whoa. We took in all the Christmas spirit and bounced. We were actually supposed to be back in Cali by now, but we decided to stay another day. At this point, we were obsessed with Stanley Park, and it was impossible to just see in a few days. So we went back for yet another morning hike. My boy hitting the Naruto run. Where are you going so fast? Apparently there's an old cannon here that fires every night at nine o'clock. Like I said earlier, Canada is unique. Y'all already know how I feel about lighthouses, so this one at Brockton Point had me feeling like I was in a Wes Anderson movie. So incredible. We found a cool little area to do a photo shoot. I had a cloudy bandana dropping, and this was the perfect backdrop for some crisp fall promo. We landed at our destination, the Vancouver Aquarium. This is Canada's largest aquarium. There was so much marine life in here. It was beautiful. I had to stop at the jellyfish exhibit. I love me some jellyfish. It was an amazing attraction.
There was even an outside area of the aquarium for larger animals, like seals, otters, even penguins. I've never been this close to penguins before. Later on, we hit Laker Alley, which was very close to our hotel. It was one of the coolest alleys I've ever walked down. I'm not privy to walking down alleys like that, but this one I made an exception for. What an amazing city. We can't wait to come back. But until next time, keep your bags packed. All right, guys, that was the finale of the fall season of We Trippin', Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> it's the second time we left the country. British Columbia. Hollywood of the North? Yeah, the yeah, because of all the, the filming and movies. Ryan Reynolds. That, and I've, I heard his name so much while I was out there. <laughs> they love him. <laughs> they I mean, love Ryan Reynolds. Fantastic actor. Deadpool. <laughs> This city was fun. It was. Was this the first city that we opted to stay longer? Yeah. Yeah. We that stayed an lot. additional day because, yeah, because we'd be ready to go. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but I mean, just in terms of like the fall foliage, this was probably one of the better cities too. Mm -hmm. I mean, like the deep, deep reds and oranges, like some of those trees on those streets, like I didn't think that leaves got that red. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was a little fake. <laughs> I was like, Canada, what you doing? <laughs> right, and we were so like fascinated by it that we made sure we soaked it all up mm -hmm. by going to their national park. How many times? <laughs> every, almost every day. <laughs> So, I mean, just, you know, you guys saw, but we didn't plan any of that. We right. hopped on the tour, which was great. I think this was, like, our most intellectual trip. Like, mm -hmm. we learned the most, uh, which had me, you know, doing a lot of research, especially during, you know, when we were uh, in production of the voiceover. I was really, like, finding out more stuff than I was finding out on the tour. The tour right. guide was great, by the way. Yeah, he was. And we went through... Chinatown, every city got a Chinatown. Yeah. It's really, really impressive. It really opened uh, us up to see what the city really has to offer because when you do your own research, I mean, you can find stuff. You're going to go to but, the cool spots. Yeah, yeah, but taking his tour, it was so cool. And the places we stopped were so amazing that I wanted to like get out and spend my time there. You right. know, like when we stopped at the totem poles, I wanted more time there. You we know? went back, yeah. <laughs> but that's why we went back. But we, I don't know if we would have known specifically to go to that part had we had not taken that yeah. that tour. And, and then we did some stuff that we probably wouldn't do on our own, right. you know, so we got to get that out of our system with the tour, like stopping at the, the steam clock. You're right. saying, didn't it sing a different song? Like, a <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It, it seemed like that was built hundreds of years ago. It was built in the <laughs> 70s. <laughs> it was just like a lot of cool things like that. You know, like uh, even, even the park itself. I feel like if we had just gone, if you just go to the park, you'd be like, oh my God, this is pretty. And you walk around for a little bit, but it really took somebody driving us through it. We didn't go through all of it. That would take a long time, but right. telling us about like the cannons, the lighthouses, but there was just like so many like historical elements that we would really only get with a guide. But also walking in the middle of the forest, the woods, mm -hmm. you know, have you, have you done that before? Like yes. that? Like, <laughs> I haven't. I be in the I woods. I don't be in the woods in other in countries. The Look. Woods. <laughs> now, that's the first time I've ever gone through the woods in another country, mm -hmm. for sure. But I mean, I just, I just, I just love it. I love it when there's <laughs> it the trees so and the water. I was the seaplanes, lighthouses. It was like everything I like in one place. I lost so much weight. Oh, yeah. We were walking. And we, <laughs> we weren't eating that much. We weren't eating much. We weren't. This was like, you guys are always making fun of us. Like, y'all be eating. This should be called We Eating. Mm -hmm. This time, this was We Walking. We walking. <laughs> we hiking. We, uh, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I was exhausted 
but I was fascinated at the same time. So it's mm-hmm. kind of like, oh, I'm tired, but I want to keep going because I want to see this. And then there were some parts where I was a little like, Woo, I got a little scared. A couple of scary looking spots. But for me, who's newer to hiking in the woods, you know, it, it may have been a, a little more terrifying. All right, well, we talked about uh, the fact that we didn't eat as much as we normally do. Mm-hmm. So let's just let's just start there. What had the best eats in Canada? So we went to the suspension bridge, yep. uh, the Capilano suspension bridge. A and great place. I was I was already really hungry. <laughs> and we stopped at the Cliff House restaurant and had some seafood chowder. Ah, with mm-hmm. the with the salmon, mm-hmm. the salmon. It was really, really good. I think it was like, just like, it's almost like how we were when we were in Seattle, when we had the pho. Mm-hmm. It's like some of these foods, Seattle is just the perfect backdrop for it. Mm-hmm. You know, it was cold. Yes. There was Christmas, you know, Christmas decorations mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. And just to like get out of that 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 nippiness mm-hmm. and to sit down in a, in a beautiful cafe. The Cliff House was decked out it was really and nice. just to have some warm chowder. It was freezing out there. So yeah, it kind of speaks to your point to have some warm soup mm-hmm. when it's freezing out there. I, I just, I really enjoyed it. The scenery, the environment. Um, I'm not really afraid of heights like that. So having a, a nice full belly before we went out to the bridge and just like saw all the attractions everything that they had to offer it was just it was really amazing the bacon food, on top but the food a, was really good a little nice little touch it was i enjoyed that uh seafood chowder is i really like that seafood mm-hmm. chowder but it's hit or miss when you just like throw random fish in there and stuff scallions i don't mm-hmm. i don't really like i don't know it's kind of but i i really liked that one mm-hmm. mine was kind of along the same lines of yours in terms of like the the dish itself wasn't like mind blowing mm-hmm. it was the whole experience uh i would have to give mine to the uh the boathouse oh boathouse okay. that was day 1 in canada yeah. um and it was really just a culmination of things for me <laughs> it was the fact that we went to a restaurant that didn't exist that was a, a boat right. junkyard <laughs> then we walked to a park that was filled with like bunny rabbits bunnies. wild black bunnies <laughs> And we were just, this was our first glimpse of Canada. We were just like, what is, are we in a dream right now? I was not expecting that at all. So when I looked, it looked like little black balls like on the ground. And I'm like, like what are it. those? They're cute. <laughs> They're so, so adorable. crazy. And so we're just kind of like trying to wrap our head around that. We stumble upon this new restaurant that's in front of a beach. We, we like meet this lady and her dog. Mm-hmm. And then we go upstairs to the boathouse. And it's just like this very nautical themed restaurant. And we just got this crazy seafood platter that had like all types of shrimp and crab dip and calamari. It was just like, it was almost like a reward for us (laughs) being just juped Mm -hmm. for so long, for hours. We we were a little nervous because, and and like I said, it was cold. So taking an Uber to an abandoned boat yard wasn't as walking. (laughs) And we were hungry. And there was no restaurants in walking distance. So we were no walking way. around. We saw the park. And then eventually we just had to call another Uber. We like stumbled 20, on 30 a park, minutes. though. How do you just stumble on an a amazing bunny a bunny park? It was so pretty. It was, that, it was You know we get silly throwing leaves in the air and everything. Remember that tree that had all the crows <laughs> circling around? It, was, it, mm-hmm. it, it, it seemed like a horror movie. Mm-hmm. It was just, it was very, very strange. So to finally end up in safety, yeah. have a beach to look at the sun was setting over the harbor and we were just eating firecracker shrimp it was really good that was, that's a really good to restaurant that. to pick you gotta give it to that <laughs> all right so the food was few and far between on this trip so it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was a little skimpy yeah but that's only because the activities were so aplenty. Mm-hmm. It was just nothing but activities from when we landed at the train station <laughs> uh what was your favorite Canadian activity. My favorite was none other than Capilano Bridge. We liked it so much in the daytime that we extended the day so that we could see it at night. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it was beautiful both times in the daytime. You just, you got to really see the colors, the, the green. It was a lot of greenery. You got to see there. what was down you there. Just got yeah. To, yeah, you got to visually see everything. And then when you went at night, you see how they decorated it the lights just reflected off of the water and the leaves and you know we're high on on these 
the, these trees like we're high I mean these are some big trees yeah. <laughs> you know and so it was just so beautiful how the lights really reflected and I mean it just kind of puts you in just like a a, a positive a beautiful mood ready for christmas yeah ready yeah. for christmas they did such a good job with that mm -hmm. place and to be honest i didn't expect any of that right like i'm not really a thrill seeker like that when i read about it and you just hear about a suspension bridge that was built a long time ago i just thought it was like some teetering indiana Jones <laughs> bridge and have some kids on it like yeah <laughs> swinging it and stuff like i had no interest in it mm -hmm. but to find out that it was actually like a park it had mm -hmm restaurants and things to do and like mm -hmm. uh, alternate things it wasn't just the bridge they had the treetop like uh walkways mm -hmm. and the i think there was like a place that was selling like hot chocolate and mm -hmm. like all these places by the water and and they wildlife had totem sanctuaries poles there too yeah so much like, like culture from the indigenous mm -hmm. people and it was just like so much more to do that I would have just never expected any of that. It was so much fun. And the fact that everybody there was like, you think it's cool now, yeah. come back at night. I've never gotten advertised that heavily yep. to just like customers. It worked, it worked. They weren't just like, <laughs> yeah, we're here too. They're like, come back mm -hmm. at night again and experience mm -hmm. it. And I don't even know which one was more fun. I think I was more captivated at night. Mm. because of just the lights reflections and they had like these spinning looking lights over a top of bridge and then you got to like walk up this cliff it was, like it was cool that night yeah it was it was but really i'm glad cool. we saw both because mm -hmm. seeing it during the day was was cool for the heights because mm -hmm. i'm way more scared of heights during the day i don't know okay. what it is <laughs> well you could see them <laughs> well when it's dark i can still see i'm high up but i'm still like i'm more you know i'm in my batman zone um no capilano bridge was really really amazing i'm glad we went twice but we didn't go as many times <laughs> as stanley park stanley park oh i God. think we attacked it perfectly mm -hmm. we were driven through it quickly with a guide who just told us the history he told us all about what's there you know they have the cannon that fires every night all the lighthouses which i was just like Ugh. Yeah. They got the aquarium yeah, in there. Yeah. There's the place that people bike and and run. There was like all types of trails within. There was we the tried trees. to bike. Oh my! <laughs> oh yeah, we couldn't get the we app working. Figure it out. The app was Canadian. We couldn't figure it out. Uh, <laughs> but the, I mean, like the trails, the leaves, the random things in there, mm -hmm. like the well. The well was a great time to me. How boring does that sound? <laughs> we stumbled upon the, a well that looked like it was from the ring, mm -hmm. and just had like a whole photo shoot there. It was such a like beautiful place to just like film everything. Too. Right. Um, we used up so much space in our memory just filming everything, and I was just like, "This is so beautiful. Uh, this is so beautiful. Uh, this is so beautiful." My uh. phone was out of memory. <laughs> Towards the end, everything was on your phone. <laughs> right. It was so much just fun. Like, and then we were walking down this walkway that's right attached to the water yeah and it was like when you it curved a little and as you walked it just looked like there was nothing but water and sun mm -hmm. ahead it just looked like it looked like a drop-off kind of uh, I know what you're and it about. was so pretty that we just had to kind of just stop and look and stare. And I was just like, I've never seen anything like this. And the craziest part was the locals are just jogging around like it's nothing. Right. I'm like, they don't understand. It's different. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it, and we had this conversation there like, man, like this is so different from Los Angeles. And it's not that Los Angeles doesn't have the views. We got the beaches and stuff like that. But it's mm -hmm. just so different. Like when we think of jogging by the water in Los Angeles, we're jogging through the sand, there's mm -hmm. waves. This was like still water, ducks and wildlife, a giant mm -hmm. green bridge, mm -hmm. and just like land, forest. Mm -hmm. And it's just like it's just like a completely different environment. And lighthouses. By far, my favorite part of Stanley Park was prospect point mm -hmm. okay that was the little mini <laughs> lighthouse and what was crazy about that was the same walkway you were talking about that curved through the water mm -hmm. it went under the lion's gate bridge mm -hmm. so you have it's like a very colossal view you have all this water with these giant boats passing you have this gigantic bridge above you and then you have this cool wes anderson looking lighthouse mm -hmm. it was just like all right there i feel like we almost like missed our our the rest of our day like mm -hmm. we we that that location put us back yeah we <laughs> stayed there for 
a good while. A good while. <laughs> I like to take videos of Pat and I'll be like, I hope you can use this for your music video. So I'm always like trying to find different ways I to use that for my uh, <laughs> Protect Your Light release. The, yes. Uh, the cloudy bandana. Yes. So if you guys check out his, some of his Protectyourlight.com. Yes. You will see like we you were out that. there shooting, shooting, shooting. You shot the one by the fall <laughs> trees too. Yeah. It was fire. It was so beautiful out there like honestly even though we went like three times in that trip i would actually go back to stanley park yes oh we definitely oh, didn't see it, it's a thousand acres yeah it's so crazy that like you have to decide whether you want to drive through it walk through it or bike through it and each one will be a completely different mm -hmm. experience um which brings me to my travel hack Mm -hmm. We're going to do like a travel hack real quick before the skin tuition this <laughs> okay, time. Okay, what's your travel hack? Because my travel hack uh, has to do with public transportation. <laughs> In L.A., you might cringe just hearing those two things because mm -hmm. you might get attacked by a crackhead. <laughs> but I feel like when you travel to certain places, you should look for unique ways to get around mm -hmm. uh you saw that when we were in maine we jumped on the the water boat the water taxi mm -hmm. uh we did the same thing um here we went to granville which mm -hmm. was the tour we jumped on a, a, a van jumped on the tour we jumped off the tour early right. got on granville walked around there uh took the water taxi to mainland like we were just doing random stuff to not only for the experience but just to see the, the the city and from we different to angles see everything from just like every angle possible mm -hmm. and I think between the historical van trip where we got to see everything and learn about it and then like the water taxi that kind of just took us around because we never just go to where we need to go we right kind of stay on there and just <laughs> and just go around but it was also nice like with with the water taxi actually like looking at the map and having to follow like it wasn't some like yeah. electronic device that we're, we're looking at we're actually like looking to see like okay where's our stop trying to figure out like the map of the harbor and right. where we're going and stuff like that so it was like knowing your bus stop if you were taking like <laughs> right. the bus somewhere like figuring out where you needed to get off and that was really cool because it was just like something that we're not really used to anymore you're you're basically going somewhere that locals are already going mm -hmm. as opposed to thinking you know everything like we do mm -hmm. and going to a restaurant that doesn't exist mm -hmm. twice right <laughs> <laughs> so i think that was cool to just be like all right let's just go with the flow go where like this, this the culture of seattle already is as opposed right. to like let's just go here 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 and being disappointed my travel hack would be to you know, I, I feel like all of the places that we've gone, we've seen that these places have like specific holidays to those cities. And you might not really know what they have going on or what they do for the different holidays or what they have themselves. Like Capilano Bridge, we had no idea that they had such like crazy Christmas uh, decorations like that. Right. So, you know, finding out the different attractions the different things that the different cities are doing for different holidays i think is Timing. is is huge yep. yeah because sometimes if you go like beforehand you might just miss when they're about to do some type of celebration right so you want to make sure like when you do your research for these cities find out what those like local holidays are or the city's holidays are and uh, of course the major ones too yeah but you can really like catch a lot of stuff going on if if you just find out like the different holidays for the city that you're going to that's a i think that's a really really big one because a part of me feels like i don't know how much i would have enjoyed it had the christmas you know what i mean mm -hmm. if, if the christmas activation if we had missed it or mm -hmm. gone just at a random part of the year it's hard for me to wrap my head around how much i would like it mm -hmm. because the lack of all the decorations would be like okay cool it's kind of like focused on the actual river and the bridge which would be awesome but like you said, a big part of it was coming at night, enjoying the lights. I don't know how many just year round lights they have and how many they add for Christmas. But if there was just no lights at night, mm -hmm. it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they would have us walking around in the forest. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they have a version of it. But I definitely don't think I would have enjoyed it as much if we didn't get the, the Christmas experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. OK, so activity up. Mm hmm. Um, I think that uh, honorable mention to Granville 
<laughs> island though. That was just right. so much it was. Fun. That it was, was so really much fun. Cool. Um skin tuition of <laughs> everywhere we've been, Canada really, really felt balanced. It felt like there was all types of people there. It felt multicultural, but it felt safe. Mm -hmm. Like I just I just felt like straight the entire time. Mm -hmm. I just felt good. We were walking around the forest. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel unsafe at all. Um when we took the tour, it was very interesting to me for them to let us know like all of the the homeless population they allow on like one street. Was that the place where he said that they don't have weapons like that? Right, right. Um, like there's just no weapons in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> and homeless don't attack. They don't attack you. But the city has like an ordinance that kind of pushes them into one area. And the rest, everything else is... Isn't that it's, crazy? It's, We're from a place where you have to say, don't worry, the homeless don't attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. wild. But that was interesting to hear because mm -hmm. it's just completely different out there mm -hmm. in every way possible. Mm -hmm. But the people, everybody that we encountered, that we spoke to, I never felt like looked at us weird. I didn't mm -hmm. feel weird energy from anyone. Same. Like it was, it was, it was perfect. It was Great good. Uh -huh. And we stayed extra. Mm hmm. Um, I do apologize to people who live in Vancouver who are cussing at the screen right now because of all the good food. <laughs> I remember on our last day, I remember I had that meeting and uh, one of my producer homies, he said that, you know, the soup dumplings there were crazy. There was just like all these places that we missed out on. So we just didn't get a chance. That trip. Uh, that trip. But uh, we might we might even be back one of these times. <laughs> I'm down to go back. <laughs> Well, look, guys, this has been an amazing fall season. Uh, we thank you guys for continually pulling up. Uh, you guys know we have a whole bunch more for you. Winter season is crazy. Winters are coming. Now, I, I love how the, the transition from uh, fall to winter was Vancouver mm -hmm. because that's when we started seeing ourselves go from a food show mm -hmm. to like a food and activity show mm -hmm. because winter is about them activities. We was out there. We was out in the snow. We were in the snow. Mm -hmm. In random, these are this is the most random cities by far. <laughs> Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Sun Valley, Sun Idaho. Valley Idaho. Idaho. Mm -hmm. Fairbanks, Alaska. Mm -hmm. Other places. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long list. It is. Winter is going to be a great season, and I, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Again, this has been uh, We Trippin' Fall Season. I've been Patrick Cloud. I'm Persephone. And we will see you guys in the winter. Keep your bags packed. Later. Bye. Bye, buddy.